Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. Today I have a pretty large K-Beauty haul to share with you guys. I think this might be my best haul yet. I have some really great products in here. I'm really excited to share them with you. This video is sponsored by Yes Style and I was able to go onto the website and pick out, like I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled. I mean, if you've ever been on the Yes Style website, you know it could be a little bit of an overwhelming experience. The beauty section is massive. And while I was on there, I was really looking for glowy products. I was looking for, of course, eyeshadows, which I'm pretty sure I found a new holy grail. I know, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's giving moon flesh vibes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to share that with you guys. I was looking at sunscreens as well because I've heard so many great things about Kate Beauty sunscreen, so I have some of those and I just can't wait to share with you. I'm always grateful to be working with YesStyle, so thank you so much for your support. I will have a code down below that'll save you 12% on orders of $89 or more. That code will be live for a week after this video if you guys are interested in shopping. The links down below are also affiliate links. So thank you so much if you shop, obviously no pressure. I just love working with YesStyle. They let me do my thing. I was so excited to just kind of be able to pick the products that actually interested me and um, I'm excited to share them with you. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna try to go in like face order in a way, <laughs> okay. So first, this is a product I've heard so much about. This is from Vanilla Co and it's the cleansing balm, just the original cleansing balm. I have been on my skincare game. I've been doing so well, you guys. I am so proud of myself to be honest. I've really been focusing on taking care of my skin even when it's hard, even when I kind of don't want to. I know that I will love myself later for it. So I try to do those hard decisions and I've been using a cleansing balm. The one I'm using currently is from ColourPop, but it's from like the sister brand. I think Fourth Ray is where it's from. And I do really like the idea of cleansing balms and that cleansing balm works really well to get the like oils and like makeup and waxy makeup, oily makeup off my face but it does burn my eyes. And I've just heard so many great things about the Vanilla Co one. Like this is a lot of people's favorite. So I really wanted to give it a try. I have not tried it yet. So this one, I will keep you guys updated. I'd love to know what your favorite cleansing balm is down below though, especially one that's not gonna burn your eyes or doesn't burn your eyes. And especially if you have sensitive eyes because my little eyeballs are so sensitive. They get really dry really easily. They burn really easily, I feel like. So I really hope that one will work for me. And I just really like getting all my makeup off with the cleansing balm and then going in with another cleanser after that to like actually clean my skin. Continuing on with skincare, I did pick up some sunscreens. Like I said, I have again been on my sunscreen game. I don't think in my entire life I've ever applied as much sunscreen as I have this year. I'm not gonna, I don't know, I shouldn't admit that. I decided to try two different ones. This first one is the Can Make Mermaid Skin, I think it is. It's SPF 50 and I'm pretty sure I've had this one before and I remember it not like being like a normal sunscreen. My issues with sunscreen is that they smell pretty horrible, they feel pretty horrible. There are so many issues that I have with sunscreen, but this one I remember liking. I just wasn't being very diligent when I did have it, so I am excited to try Try this one. It feels nice and thin, almost on the verge of watery, which I loved. <laughs> Do not get me wrong, like I love that. It doesn't really have any smell to it at all, so definitely no sunscreen smell. So I'm excited to give that one another try, especially now that I'm like, I feel like ready for it, you know what I mean? But the other one that I picked up, this was probably the most highly recommended one from you guys. I was asking for some of your recommendations. This is the Beauty of Joseon, I think might be how you say it. And this is the one I used today. The packaging is super simple. Both of these were very inexpensive. I wanna say they were like under $15 a piece, which is amazing. As especially considering I feel like the really big players on sunscreen, like the super goop stuff is pretty dang pricey. I do like it, but it, it is very expensive. When I use this today, uh, again, I didn't have any of the sunscreen smell, so I loved that. It didn't leave a white cast on me at all either. Same with the other one. This also goes on a little bit watery, but when I was putting this on my face, it also started giving me, I don't wanna say it mattified, cause it wasn't like completely mattifying, but as this dries down, it does kind of, give me like a soft, almost like NARS packaging feel, like a little bit of a, a soft rubberized <laughs> feel to my skin, um, which actually felt pretty good. It's a little grippy, but not entirely, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm telling you, very similar to the NARS packaging, and I am excited to see how this wears. My biggest thing with sunscreens is one, I obviously want them to not like smell and I want them to feel good, but with makeup, I'm trying to find that perfect base routine where they're not gonna make me more oily. I do have oily skin and I think these look promising. So I will keep you guys updated, but I definitely love 
the price point. There are just so many options, I feel like, for sunscreen on Yes Style, but also I feel like there are a lot of great options that also don't leave like a white cast and also don't smell like sunscreen and also feel more like skincare than they do sunscreen, which is so exciting. So I am so stoked to try these out and I will keep you guys updated. Next, I picked up a few base products, like priming type of products. This has been in my likes list on Yes Style for ever, like for at least a year. It's been a long time. This is the Glow Skin Balm by Misha. The packaging is really beautiful. It's nice and heavy and rose gold. It's just really pretty. And it comes with a little spatula as well. This I haven't tried yet, so I'm really excited to give it a go. I thought initially that this was going to be more of like an actual pearlized primer, but it doesn't seem to have any uh, shimmer going on at all. It really is just like a, a moisturizing cream and it's leaving like a wet look so far on my skin. Hmm. It feels nice and moisturizing. I am a little worried. I feel like for dry skin, this might be a little bit better, but hey, you never know. Sometimes you try something and it works out really well, even if it seems like it might not be perfect for your skin type or even your preferences. So I'm still gonna give it a go. I don't know if you can see on my hand, but it's very glowy looking, but more in like a, a greasy way. Hmm. If you've tried this, let me know if you like it, but this I would say, more for dry skin. Like if you want that like wet look glow, not if you want a shimmer glow so far. The other primer is from I'm Uni and I was so excited. This is the one I used today. This just looked so intriguing on the site and it came exactly how I expected it to. So it's a little glass jar, but inside this is like a clear rose colored balm, uh, but it's like, it's so hard to describe this texture. There was a product like this from um, Touch and Soul and it was like their, I think they called it like an icy something and it kind of has that kind of icy feel to it. What's interesting though is that this one actually stays, like as I blended this onto my skin, I was like, whoa, it is so smoothing. It blends out really easily, but it doesn't turn too liquidy. Like it still keeps its kind of thickness. And so blending this on, it felt so, smoothing, so priming, and also a little bit, I want to say like firming, like my skin felt a little more firm. I was so happy that applying this on top of the sunscreen did not cause any pilling or anything like that. And it doesn't feel like really too sticky or too heavy, um, but gives you a really smooth base to work on. I really felt like after I applied my foundation today, my skin was so, so smooth. So I am like really excited for this. I like this texture more than I do the Tarte Balm. So I wanna keep using it. I wanna make sure it obviously like keeps my foundation on a long time, but I am very excited and it seems promising. And it's interesting because the Touch and Soul one that was like this, I felt like um, did make me more oily. So I'm definitely like keeping my eye out to see if that's what happens with this one. But I love the feeling on my skin. Very, very smooth feeling. And I can't wait to just combine this with different foundations. So I'm surprised. I was actually more excited initially for the glow balm, <laughs> but after opening it, I'm a little worried if that one's gonna, it might be too glowy, you know, like I wanted glow, but that might be too much. Whereas this, I was a little bit nervous because I'd had an experience similar with a product like this, but I, I think this is really good so far. So really excited about that. Okay, let's just get into the eyeshadow because this thing is so pretty. It's the only thing I have on my lids right now. <sighs> It seems like the brand's name is Clavu. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but this is the Urban Pearlization Sparkle Eyeshadow. Specifically, I picked up Glam Brown because it was the most cool toned looking. And oh my gosh, this is like a high-end eyeshadow, like a very expensive eyeshadow. It's a cool toned brown, lots of silver sparkle, but in the base, there's actually a bit of a, a brown, I don't wanna say warm brown, it's a cool brown, but it's not silver and gunmetal gray in the base. So. I love that. I love that little bit of warmth. Again, it's a cool brown, but I feel like cool brown compared to gray is way warmer looking, you know, and more, I feel like natural, at least on my skin tone. The sparkle on this is so fine, yet so impactful, just so beautiful. If they were selling this at Shantikai, if they were selling this at Bobbi Brown, I'm telling you, like, that's the vibes I get from this. I am shocked. I'm always, every time I'm on the Yes Style website, I'm looking for eyeshadows that are sparkly and beautiful and, you know, give some of that shine, maybe a wet look, but that aren't actual glitter. So this isn't like any plastic 
plastic glitter so you know it's always a struggle but I want every single one of these like I'm gonna go check out the other colors because the actual finish of this is so beautiful I just applied it on top of a primer just with my finger it blended out so easy it's stunningly beautiful and it reminds me very much of my moon flash eyeshadow from Holika Holika which is no longer available this one's thinner though I feel like those were a little bit more of those like chunky almost pressed not quite pressed pigments in a way whereas this is like a full-on eyeshadow but it's easy to pick up product so it doesn't feel like it's going to get hard pan at all and it's nice and thin and I feel like that's what makes me feel like this is more of like a luxe formula like I can get the impact but the formula is nice and thin so so beautiful really happy with this like I'm telling you it it competes with my Bobbi Brown single that I have. And you wanna know the best part, you guys? This is $6 right now on their site. $6.45, sometimes it's eight sixty, but I'm telling you, under $10 for this eyeshadow and it feels like a high-end shadow. Beyond excited about this. I mean, I found some good sparkles on there, but this is one that I feel like tops so many of the ones that I have. I love the packaging, it's simple, like top-notch, top-tier. So excited to find this. I think that I have like one highlighter and one like spray and then the rest are lip products because K-Beauty lip products are just like some of the best on the market. So I definitely wanted to explore those. But for highlighter, I've been wanting to try this Cleo Prism Highlighter Duo. This one's in the shade Cream Fizz. I'm wearing it today. I did like one side each because it is a duo as the name would suggest. The first thing I noticed about this one, I feel like Cleo does amazing packaging. Like everything I have had from Cleo just is really substantial and just feels nice. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I opened like a cat like compact and the details are so cute and just, you know, again, really luxe feeling. But for the actual powder, this powder feels so silky. I, the only thing that has come close, I feel like to this feeling are the Hindash powders. If you've ever felt those, um, which you shouldn't really touch those cause you're gonna get a ton of hard pan, but they feel unlike anything I've ever felt before. And this feels like similar to that in a way. It is just so silky smooth and soft. There's no real like, powder like fluffy powder on your fingers it's just so smooth but it's not hard pan that's what's so interesting too like every time i go in i can still pick up just as much it's almost like is this a cream but it's not wet feeling. It's just silky smooth. It's so interesting. Like I'm telling you, a formula I've never really quite felt before or experienced before. Beyond the texture and the way they feel, there are two different finishes in here. One is a little bit softer where the pearlized pigments are really uniform and not too chunky. And then there's a little bit more of a sparkly side. I'm wearing the sparkly side over on this cheek. And I feel like even this one though, I mean, I've been really into sparkles lately. Like I love a chunky sparkly eye. <laughs> highlighter at the moment and this feels still kind of subtle for me compared to some of the other ones I have in my collection like I like it but I could go even harder with the sparkle and then this is definitely more of like a natural sheen and shine I use that more natural one also on my brow bone today and I thought it looked really good there I tend to use more natural highlighters on my brow bone where I can get a little bit of shine a little bit of lift from the light without it being too frosty so I still need to test this and really get my thoughts on it before I kind of place it in my highlighter collection but so far promising and definitely unique so I'm excited to keep trying it out last before we get into the barrage of lip products this is from naming I did show a sneak peek of this on my Instagram because it's just such a beautiful little spray when I'm looking at yes style one of the things I like to do because again like I said it's pretty overwhelming I really like to stick with brands that I feel like give me the vibe I want like it's kind of hard to say what that is but naming is one of the brands that I've tried in the past and I really like the packaging it's kind of simple a little modern looking and so I was excited to try out this little spray this one's the reflecting pearl fixer I'm gonna actually spray it right now and just see how it looks but it literally has shimmer all in it I don't know if I can tell the shimmer right off the bat so I'll keep you guys updated we'll see if that's actually good like this might just be one of those products that like looks pretty but who knows maybe I'll get into the light outside and look like a twilight vampire I guess we'll see but I don't feel like it did really much. And the smell is kind of um, like the Scandinavia ones or the Urban Decay ones where they just kind of smell like professional products almost, you know? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, we are on to the lip products. First, I picked up a mask. There honestly are just so many beautiful lip products on Yes Style. I like want to try them all, but this is a mask from the brand Mood and it just looked so aesthetic. Like that was the main uh, reason I want to try this. The actual lip product itself looks like this beautiful 
beautiful baby pink and I want to see if this is similar to like the Laneige one if it really like moisturized I love a lip mask I'm just a sucker for it and I just love that this packaging is nice and substantial it's like a glass jar it's like a cute thing to have on your vanity or nightstand and I feel like specifically with lip masks I'm using them a lot of the time at night right before I go to bed this brand Unleashia I think is how you say it this caught my eye I mean it has that lime green packaging you know I want to try it so I decided to try three of these glossy lips they're supposed to be non-sticky and they're dazzle tints I've seen a few of their eyeshadow palettes and I want to try them but they do have glitters in them so I've kind of just held off hopefully they'll come out with some stuff that doesn't have glitters but I really love the packaging and kind of just the vibe of the brand once again like I like finding those brands that I feel like I'm just like vibing with and this is what I'm wearing on today so I'll put a little bit more on I feel like these are what the rare beauty lip oils are even though I haven't tried those it's honestly what I've heard and also just like what they look like like they looked a little bit more tinted like still sheer and they leave a little bit of a stain and so many of the lip products like the glassing water tints from Romand and these seem very much like a glossy very glossy lip oil stain gloss hybrid thing and those seem more like a lip gloss hybrid stain thing as well so I'm excited to try these out more they feel very similar to the glassing water tints like they have that kind of plush watery feeling that is is not sticky absolutely at all and leaves your lips feeling really hydrated without realizing like how much pigment's coming across even once you put them on like the pigment kind of develops in a way I don't know how to explain it but a lot of the different k-beauty lip products that I've tried that are in this same vein they give you tons of color but they're really non intimidating and that's something I really like about them but let me know what you've tried from Unleashia as a brand like do you like them do you have other recommendations please let me know okay you guys are Ready? I think I found the cutest packaged lip balms in my life. These are absolutely adorable and just beautiful. These are from the brand Coring Co and they are glittery lip balms and they are stunning. Again, if you've been on my Instagram and you've seen some like close up kind of thirst trappy videos on these, I just think they're so beautiful. When I saw them on the website, I was like, there's no way they're that pretty in real life and they really are. They are so stunning, you guys. The actual lip balms themselves I think are okay. Like I like them. Um, the pink one is kind of like a dupe of the the Dior balm that kind of changes to your pH. It leaves a little bit of a pink stain behind. And then this one has like a little bit of an orangey tint to them. But I really feel like though with these, like the packaging is like where it's at. Like it's a nice product, like it's an okay product, but the packaging is why you're buying them. And again, I feel like these were really affordable. They were not like super expensive at all. So I just freaking love these. I love having them in my purse and they're so cute. Next for lip products, this actually came in this package. It was really cute. I felt like it would make a cute little like gift of a lip balm but this is from I'm Mimi and it's the I'm lip jelly this is another one where the cuteness factor got me I feel like so many k-beauty products just have really cute different like girly packaging and that can be really fun and a lot different than other cosmetics brands especially like drugstore brands in the US but this is just like a clear little lip balm and it has little hearts in it that are just kind of floating in there for decoration but this also does start staining and this one's pretty interesting like the pigment starts developing and it's a very hot pink but then it can wash off like it stains a little but not nearly as much as you'd think I have some products that the moment they touch your skin like you're done for they're stained you're done like <laughs> <laughs> it's game over you know what I mean but this one seemed like the stain was there and then not I really like that it turns a hot pink it's pretty fun really glossy and a super cute one I have three more one-off lip products I told you tons of lip products this is from nature republic I got the shade peach coral and it's their lip rouge this I have not tried yet and this is like a balm what I was thinking with this is I wanted to test it up against the tower 28 balms that are coming back I just feel like these chubby sticks are making a comeback I remember this is like like what I used to like like the tart ones all that I would buy like the holiday packs of five. Oh my gosh I loved them but I thought this color was just so fun and kind of spicy and summery and I love a hot corally color <laughs> for summer and again compared to something like the tower 28 balms they're more affordable so I wanted to give that a go and I have the color that's really similar to this from tower 28 as well next is another lip balm this one is from YNM and it stands for you need me but I really loved this for again the packaging it's like a rainbow glitter packaging Ooh, and it does that <laughs> 
how fun. It's a little lightweight. It doesn't feel like expensive. It doesn't have a smell on it or anything. So that was just like a fun one. I'll keep you guys updated on how that works for me. I picked up a lip oil because lip oils are all the rage. I have talked about this, but I really feel like lip oils, you don't know what you're gonna get. The term lip oil is so trendy right now that I feel like any lip product that can maybe kind of be under the category of a lip oil is gonna be called that right now just because it'll get people to buy it, you know? Uh, it's just like the trendy thing at the moment. I say all that because I do like lip oils and I wanna try some out, but it's just hard to know what you're gonna get. Every lip oil is different. Some feel like liquid balms, some feel like actual oil, some just feel like glosses, like it's kind of all over the place. Ooh, this smells, okay, I wanna try that on. You can see with that Unleashia color that the stain is definitely still there, but let's put on this lip oil. It has like that big doe foot. It feels like a little bit of a gloss, like a little thick. I thought it was gonna be sweet, but it's really not. Like it doesn't taste sweet. It really doesn't even have that much of a smell of sweetness. Okay, super glossy. And it also has like that thick, really plush feeling. It's a little sticky, but not sticky in a bad way, just sticky in a thick enough way where it's really like coating your lips. And I think it's gonna stay on as well. Again, so interesting, all the different textures of lip oils out there in the world. But this is really promising, especially for a glossy, glossy lip. I'm just hoping that I don't get the white ring. That'll be the test. Like that's really the test. I have to put all my lip products through. <laughs> all right, last, a brand that was really catching my eye is Laka. And I picked up quite a few different things because I wanted to try out a few things from the line. You guessed it, another lip oil. This one I actually have already applied and this is more of what I feel like I expect from a lip oil. Like first off, the packaging is so cute. That's one of the things I really liked about it. It reminded me of just things I see on Instagram and I was really excited to try it. I love that it was unique, but this is more of like a thin, glossy oil. It's not super thick. It's not super thin, like not a straight up actual like oil, but um, definitely more of that thinner, oil type of consistency. So I'm excited to keep trying that out. But again, I feel like this is the, the prime example of like two different lip oils that are two completely different textures and just like experiences, but they are both marketed as lip oils. I also picked up a lip balm from Laka and look at this packaging once again. Like I just thought it was the cutest thing. I think it is like modern. It reminds me of like the wavy mirrors I see all over places. Like it's so cute. This is a tinted lip balm and I got it in the shade rosy. The first swipe, oh, I love a tinted balm. Like I just love a sheer, tinted balm, okay? That does it for me. I'm so excited to try this on. All the packaging, like this brand, I feel like delivers on the packaging, the experience. And then last for the haul and last for Laka, I got three of the Fruity Glam Tints. They come in packaging similar to the lip oil, but these have like a frosted base on them, but they have that kind of like asymmetrical cap. Mmm, they smell fruity. They really do smell fruity. Let's try these on too. I got the shade 103 Humming. I got Dreaming 119. I might try that pink one on. On. And then I also got 101 Joyful. All right, let's go, let's see. Ooh, it's so hot pink. You can always tell by the doe foot what it's gonna stain as. So it's like a light pink, but then the doe foot's like hot fuchsia pink. Huh, okay. They they smell like green apple, that's what it is. I'm like, what's this fruity flavor? It's so weird, cause they're kind of like milky. They feel pretty similar to the Unleashia products, which again, feel like the glassing water tins like kind of in that vein, where they're almost like a gel on your lips that isn't like drying down. I was a little worried putting it on because it's like this creamy pigment and it looks like, is that gonna be questionable? Like, is it going to show up milky almost like that and kind of look like curdled <laughs> milk or something weird on your lips? But it it actually blends in really nice. I'm gonna have to keep you guys updated. These are definitely a little bit different for me just because of the milkiness. Usually the glosses I use in a similar vein to this are more sheer and like jelly-like than they are like creamy jelly-like, you know? So I'll keep you guys updated on them. They're still promising, but I definitely wanna get more thoughts on them. But yeah, that's my Big K Beauty haul. I'm so excited to keep testing this stuff. I wanna give you guys some of my like top recommendations. For sure, number one, without a doubt, this eyeshadow from Klavu. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. It feels so luxe, so high-end. I am going to buy the other shades. <laughs> I'm so excited, I definitely wanna do that. Another big recommendation I have is just sunscreen in general. If you're looking for a 
cheaper alternative to some of the sunscreens out there, but you want something that isn't going to smell, isn't gonna leave a white cast, I would definitely look on there for some different sunscreens if you're in the market. I love these lip balms for a little bit of fun. Like they are so cute. If you're into cute packaging, you're gonna love these. And I think the thing I'm most like interested and really, really hope works out for me is the I'm Uni Watery Rose Makeup Base. I don't know why it's called Watery Rose. It's not very watery. Like as you kind of break it down on your face, it does turn a little bit thinner, but it still keeps a nice thickness that like smooths out texture. So I really hope this works out. I really hope I don't get oily. It's kind of like a different product, kind of a little weird, but I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful. Fingers crossed that one works for me, but I'd love to know any of your thoughts on this haul. Is there anything in here that's a favorite of yours already? Let me know. Let me know also your favorite picks from any of these brands or any of your favorite things that you've bought on Yes Style so I can check them out. I love getting your guys' recommendations. You have not led me astray. I can tell you that. So thank you so much. Thank you so much to Yes Style for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate it so much. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.